Loving people, good afternoon. Raquel, how are you doing, darling? Bless up, bless up. I'm glad to know you are there. Bless up, sister. Wonderful woman. Yes. So how are you doing, sweetheart? Yes, man. Keep it real. You yeah, be girl, me not telling a lie. Me love your energy. Me love your vibes. Me love how you deal with things. Trust me. You, you, you really stand out. Bless up, bless up, darling. Sure, guy. Keep it real. Trust me, people. You know, seriously, we have some good, good, good people in the earth, you know. But the cover cover them in the way too much and make it hard to find the good quality people them. Trust me, Raquel, big up yourself. Bless up. We have a bless up, bless up, bless up. God good. All is well. Sure guy, good afternoon, good morning, good whatever you're experiencing at your neck of the wood. Yes, people. You know, I come here to talk to you today about some things. And I'm gonna give you a hint. What I'm about to talk to you about today is loose tongue, destroy hard work. Right? right? Yes, we said loose tongue, destroy hard work. Mm -hmm. That is how I choose to actually present it. But in reality, it is part two of me not talk and run, kill me and done. But this segment going to deal with some things that people say and it's fulfilled in their lives. You get me? Yeah, man. You know, when we read the Bible, it tells us that life and death is in the power of the tongue. A lot of people don't understand that you have to talk things that make sense. Otherwise, you're accumulating trouble in your life. It may look good, as it say, as the saying says, joy. Weeping may endure for a night, but she joy should come when they light. So what I'm all about now is if you have nothing positive or constructive or progressive or productive to say, please don't say nothing. You're saving yourself that way. So we're going to talk today about loose tongue, destroy hard work. But you know, that is further down in the show. Now we have to play the unsigned artists. We have to do we look at talk. We have to play with music. And we have to go through process. Yes. Lovely Molly. Bless up yourself, Molly love. God bless you, darling. Keep it real. Trust me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Mr. Thomas, how are you, darling? Keep it real. BSB, we say Shukobe. I'm in the house again. And as usual, we don't really burn no whole of fire upon the other party. And we don't give a dopey story today. We are going to speak about loose dung, destroy hard work. But in the meanwhile, sit back, relax, and listen to my song. And when I say my song, I mean my coming on tune. I told you this song going to be my intro whenever time I'm coming on to BSB. Trust me, you're going to get tired to hear it. Because I got to play. And it mean a lot to me, seriously. Good afternoon, Jamaica Gem. Bless up, sister. Bless up, bless up. Bless up, my sister. And if you don't want to say loose tongue, destroy hard work, you can say in a derogatory term, cock, mouth, kill, cock. I hope I didn't use no expletive there. I hope I didn't swear there. Because there is an animal named cock. Yes? Okay. So if you don't want to say loose tongue, destroy hard work, we can say cock, mouth, kill, cock. Yes. So all the decent people, them, when no one say they don't want to hear them kind of talk there. So please, I'm telling you, every word have the meaning and the significant. Just yesterday, I have to say to one virgin, say, don't tell me about fish and make reference to homosexual. From I was born until today, I know that fish is something that swim in the sea. Fish is something that people eat. So why are you going to call a homosexual fish and trying to make people feel funny and people don't even want to use the word fish anymore? No. Homosexual don't have no, 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 nothing to do with fish. 
I don't know where this guy get it from also. So he was telling me something about fish and I was like, what? And he said, you don't get it. And I said, how can I get it? I know fish and I know fish. I don't know a homosexual to be called fish anywhere. That is what, that was what we're talking about. So now we're talking about cock mouth kill cock now. I don't want your mind go down in the gutter and start to think that we are talking something which is not. Because the word cock is the name of a, you know, feather animal. I don't remember what they call a bird. Yeah, right. You know, different animal, you have the different animal families and things like that the rodent or the rat and stuff like that yeah so in the bird family there's a particular animal what they call cock you understand me people try to change that name now and give other parts the name etc etc i want to know the story right yes yes so many people want to say how are doing i hope all is well with you guys and we can have a nice conversation today and i promise i'm gonna try my best to deliver something interesting as usual where we can get it sheer and it can go over and over and you can also tell your friends to listen Baba should be about BSB stuff like that here yeah, so I'm gonna try my best once again to make it interesting that you can find the courage to joke the number and indicate to me that you are enjoying what we are talking about yes and you also gonna find the courage to send it over there that somebody who never privileged to hear me can hear me in their own time by sharing it and remember you can also subscribe don't be afraid to subscribe and be a part of this happy family bsb radio station and trust me we have whole heap room you can end up right now all you have to do just follow subscribe and you become a member of the family i know family cheat family good and we share things together and live in peace you understand me as we say they might impress but we get the request Yes, Blade. Yes, my friend Raquel. You know, me love you, Raquel. Me love you that difference, you know, because I mean, I know me. I tell you, you just have that magical vibe. Yes, you know, them have a little thing to say. Trust me. Me just, me just like your energy. Me just love your energy, Raquel. Trust me. And I can tell you, it's good. It's good. It's good for your, your, your humility, your vibes. Yeah, I feel you. The purity within. Even Jamaican gem too. Me, I tell you, you know, we have some real lovely people in the, our family, you know. Yes, we have some lovely people in our family, no joke about it. And we have to big them up because what? We know that encouragement sweet in labor. And we can't come here and go on like we, we, we know we know see with people them and see them qualities and stuff like that. We have to give them what due to them. Cause if you come here and you're dirty, one thing I me first out till say you're dirty. Cause remember you know, what I'm about to do now is to tell you that me not talk and run, kill me and done. But because it's a series, one to ten. I don't want to call it Woman Attack and Run, Kill Me and Done, Part 2, Part 3. So I choose to call it, instead of the Part 2, I choose to call it Loose Tongue, Destroy Hard Work, or Cock Mouth, Kill Cock. Simple and straight. So now, people, yeah, man, well, if you're dirty, man, and you come here with the dirtiness, we're going to tell you, say, we don't appreciate them kind of thing there. If you just fix up and come back around. If I don't know wrong, you know, when we fall down and we learn to get up, you know. But the man who don't learn is the man who don't listen. You're not too big to, to, to remind that you didn't brush your teeth this morning. You're not too big to remind that you never used a roll arm this morning. We'll find some foolish smell coming from around you. And we have to tell you because the truth is the truth. And nothing me and you can do with the truth than to just tell the truth. You might not be happy with the truth, but the fact still remain a good friend will show you where you go short. A good friend will let you know that, listen, we are friends, but guess what? You have a little smell you know, like, you know, you have to go work on it, you know. You might have to check the dentist or whatever. Or get some mint or something. We understand all of them things. But a hypocritical friend now gonna just go one side and say, the girl the mouth stinking or something she eat or drink or something. Or them just all start to some maths with your life. They go ahead and multiply, subject or add to it. With me now, trust me, we speak it as it is. But one thing we don't insult people. We know what to say in public and what to say. One away. Call it one away as a rock you know what? Mm. Yeah, man, you shape good for you, you know. We're not telling a public you may feel offended. Let me tell you how beautiful you look. Yeah, man. It happened, actually, it happened already. You know, I tell a woman, compliment her, she say you're embarrassing me. So we have to be careful what we say. Anyway, that's it for now. We're going to go to the intro and then we start with, with business as usual. It is now 20 minutes to 3 o'clock in England. And all the people across the globe, the Jamaican people, we love you. Know. And you know what happened? We have a surprise to tell you. No, nah, tell you no surprise. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, yes, what I'm gonna talk about here. You see this song that is playing? It's a very good song. And it has so much reality in it. I can relate to it, yes. And this is what we're about now. We're gonna talk about violence in the music. A lot of people don't realize that whatever you project in the universe, it come back to you. I told you some time ago, if you walk in the street, and you keep on saying, Oh God, my poverty, my papa rising, my hungry, not not go on for me. It's gonna come and dwell with you because you requested to come in your life. People don't understand that, you know, many people. The other day, we were playing Derek Peters. And I said, Derek Peters' song is a very good song. And trust me, by saying that, I know Derek gonna lift up. Because there's a hand come and form in Derek's life and change Derek's life forever. Cause that's why I always encourage you to speak good things. And we're going to use evidence today and show you that. Whatever you say, it come around to you. So don't go around speaking negative. If you walk foggy, you're going to act foggy, you're going to look foggy. And your whole life going to be foggy. I mean, say foggy you know, as in fog. Yes. We have to qualify with statement. Because I don't people. Them alone, them alone look for pick words from with you to how we arise. And God love we and we are got you nicely. Then I look at pick word out of our mouth and say, we say, and put me in a mix up. But that is for the devil. Yeah, man. So, I'm going to show you a few entertainers who say certain things from their mouth and it manifests in their lives. And this is no joke, my friend. Yeah, man. So, we deal with, yesterday we deal with some different issues and we confuse the thing with our own for reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was part one of the attack and run. Mm -hmm. to speak about progressive and positiveness and all them things so now today we're gonna look at the music section in the same series because a lot of people just believe that music is there for you to dance and have fun and so on so there are some music you cannot dance to them trust me you cannot dance to them you have just taking the artist as if you're not a reason and digest with them as a good because the message is so clear the message is so much, if you dance, you might miss some of the lines or some of the things. Like this one I just play, Sizzler. Yeah, man. And that, I don't know why Sizzler is not a millionaire, you know, because them kind of tune, the big up Katie Wallace. Them kind of tune the Sizzler sing, you know, him shouldn't be richer than every other artist. Because the man deep. The man go down in the deep and come out with some deep thing. Sizzler and Tanya Stevens and them people in them deep. I'm telling you. Anyway, violent music, right? We have some issue here, yeah. The music we listen to daily, it's it's contaminated. Yes, it is contaminated. Cause many people don't understand the destruction they are uttering in people's ears, especially our children. Many people don't understand what they're saying and doing to our society. Everywhere you turn, oh crime, 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 and I want to find a way to stop crime and all them something. But you don't know that you are contributing to the crime when you say certain things. Right? Mm. Music is a powerful force that destroys millions around the world, both young and old. A lot don't believe that. But some experts do their research, and I'm going to quote what the expert says. Patos says, Music directly represents the passion or states of the soul. Gentleness, anger, courage, temperance. If one listens to the wrong kind of music, he will become the wrong kind of person. That means, if you echo the wrong kind of music too, you going to become the wrong kind of person. Do you believe me, yes or no? Do you believe that is true, not me? Do you believe that is true, my people? Seriously. Good afternoon again, Kathy. Yeah, man. No, no. Dr. Richard Pellegrino, who is a brain specialist, he says, Music has the uncanny power to trigger 
a flood of human emotion and images that have the ability to instant instantaneously produce very powerful changes in your emotional states in other words he's saying even when you're not listening to the music it can enter your system and make you respond to it yeah he continued by saying take this from a brain guy like me he's pro his bossed now yeah he said in my 25 years of working with the brain i still cannot affect a person's state of mind the way that one single song can and this is coming from the billboard in 1999 that's a long time but it's true music is powerful that's why we said loose tongue destroy last hard work when you find that you have the ability to sing and put your voice on instrument you should make sure what you're putting out there is good or else you're gonna damage yourself and other people and i'm gonna show you today the destruction some people create in their life when they say certain things and it just come back at a demon and haunt them and fulfill their life in a negative way yeah now dr paul king medical director at the adolescence program chartered lakeside hospital in memphis tennessee he says more than 80 percent of his patients are teenagers and they are there because of rock music he said the lyric become a philosophy and a way of life and a religion the music you know no wonder why jay-z turned million year billion year now because music is powerful yes and then the browner research group said while millions of young people listen to music for several hours per day Mothers spend less than 30 minutes per day with their children and father less than 15 minutes. So you left the children them just to listen to music and put something in them system and later on them become institutionalized. They become like what they're here, like what they've been digesting for this long time. And you start to wonder how your child gets out of hand so and the music where you allow him because you cannot spend 15 and 30 minutes a day as a parent with your children. You need more than that with, them, with the children. They leave your children now, especially in this foreign country here, where people, them so busy, them just say, give them one five pound and say, go buy a fish and chip, go buy something to eat, and later me see you, fast food. So they left them on their own. And like in Jamaica, where the auntie is there, the cousin is there, the grandma is here, and everybody can give an eye. You know, sir? Yeah. So the music is powerful, and the word from your mouth that go with the music. It make it more powerful because we are speaking right now about word, sound and power. Yes. Word, sound and power. Big and serious. And in the good book, Mark 10, 14 echoed in my head. Yeah. When Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. Right? Okay. We are talking about the violent music. Corinthian said, Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good matter. Good manners rather. Evil communication. If you communicate evil, you corrupt good manners. In other words, if I'm a good person and you start to speak evil with me and I start to digest evil, I'm going to get corrupt. That's basically what he's saying there. So we are telling people right now, be careful. Be careful of what you put out. The alkaline, me I warn you. Me I warn you, alkaline, you are young youth, you are just 20 something years old. Me I warn you. Do something progressive and stop telling people them about dung and them chewing and all them swipe and all them something. There. Stop it. You have the young children, them now doing foolishness because they look up to you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So the word said, be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. What I'm on about now, I'm telling you how you can escape the judgment of certain things. So, this entertainer here, his name is Adija Palmer, a.k.a. Vibes Cartel. Yes. And we know what he sang, and we know his song, and we know his story. And we know the song that he sing and all them stuff there. But I'm gonna just remind you of some of the things that he said before he get in the situation that he's in now. Seriously. Because people have to understand, you know. Things don't happen overnight. 
things form and then they build and they come in your life and that is how it work with him now him never know that him get mis him get missing form and him carry himself away and then him get in the wrong thing and i'm gonna play a song for you that he sang which no one never listen to the word but i'm gonna quote it i'm gonna explain what he's saying and i'm gonna make you listen and tell me what you think about it and tell me the situation that he is in now what you think about it that is why i'm telling your people big and serious say we have to careful what we do in this life otherwise we're gonna be in trouble and sometimes we don't have to be like the next man all we have to do is take a lesson take our lesson from their experience and make sure we don't be like them seriously because it's not good for no one say you gonna suffer because you never really put yourself together you just hear one man sing a thing and you gonna sing it too and then you end up in a trouble you know right trust me it's just def does definitely not right so this brother now cartel we'll start with him because he is in a situation where everybody know about him and they know what's going on and up to now he's fighting to get released i heard that he's gonna get his appeal come true but not until then we have to just do what we have to do until we see what's going on big and serious we call it bas so let me just get this song this is natalie and you tune into bsb radio station artist radio in town BSB Radio, a space of charming and representing for BSB Radio. I mean, I say, a woman poor. Yeah. I've got love in my heart. For my brothers and my sisters, so much love in my heart. For each and every one of them. Hi, I'm your girl, Ashiko, and you're tuned into BSB Radio. Baba Shukube, keep it locked. Yes, definitely. Keep it locked, my people. Keep it locked. We have Adi Palmer in the background. Right? The world love him. I will love him too. I will love the artist. But we all tell you what he'd say. And listen good. Me, I'm going to tell you what the man say. First of all, Cartel say up to the crime. Right? Up to the crime. That's nothing yet. That is just a way of saying what he want to say. Up to the crime. He never said nothing bad with that, but at the same time, you have to listen to what the man say. And there is some, there is some intent into what he just said. But if you don't understand what he said, listen to this and tell me what you think. You know it's the war teacher. Tell me what you think. The man said, bust the rifle till it broke. And whole heap of thing and whole heap of thing. And then him say, him I got to send up the crime rate 50% every month. That is what the man says. So you hear the intention, you hear what he's saying, and I want you to listen for your own self because I'm not telling a lie at nobody. The man say have various kind of gun around here. Give boy bullet to share like him in a barber cheer. What make him in prison now? He is in prison because of a thing called shoes and shoes lace. A figurative way to say gun and gun shot. You see the man sing the song and the man fall into what he sang. That is what me and about people. The man tell you, if you listen to the song, this one song tell a whole history of what is presently happening to him. Is that cartel alone? No. It's all of them who decide to come with negativity. I'm telling you, we can serious. I'm gonna play some more for you. Listen. 
The man said the pebbles are swelling up like Sherman Clump. And him go through detail and explain and give you a vivid picture of what he is intending of doing and see it fulfilling his life right now. The man is in prison for murder. At one point of his context, at his argument, he said he broke the knife in him and this and that and all them something there and all kind of something. Now, when you hear that, now you say, oh, it's on like entertainment. Of course, it's on like entertainment. And the beat is so good. We like what the beat on. Most people just dance to the beat. But they never really listen to what he, the man is saying. The man is giving you a story. He's a good storyteller, telling you a story in detail of an event. He's saying a various kind of gun around here. And he named some different gun where we never know about them, the gun, and are nothing like that. He named them out in detail. Listen again. He said both bullet unlimited. That means he had them in variety. Bullet unlimited. You know what that means? So the man say have various kind of gun around here and he named the matic, they named the different gun and him dung in lyrics and it sounds so sweet and people can dance to it. But look what happened to him at this moment. Look what happened to Vibes Cartel. This song sing long time before he go to prison. This is what I'm doing here, it's old. Because I do the same one here you'll hear me doing now from 2010. I do it and I'm just doing it over again. Trust me. Some most entertainers send out negative messages to their audiences. And encourage them to do the things they were talking about. Seriously. And the man say me have various kind of gun around here. And the crime rate have a step up 50% every month. And still yet, Jamaican people balling free vibes cartel, free vibes cartel. Me have said to you know, people, now if you understand, you know. They are not idiot. People are not idiot. And sometimes we talk the things and we do the things. Because not everybody is killing enough to know, say, you are doing this and you are doing that. And you can, you can put a, dif a distinction between them. Some people, they just know them and do it and they just carry it in their everyday life. And they call it entertainment. But this is not how it go. The man was singing this song and now he is in prison for violence, for murder. Who next? We're going to find out in a minute. Uh, trust me, people. This is serious. And I don't know if you know what say. Cock mouth kill cock. That away me tell no big and serious. Cock mouth kill cock. Ziana bless of herself. The man saying have various kind of gun around here. And him start name the different gun them and so. Most artists contribute to the violence in our society. Most people not gonna accept that because they love the artist. 50 Cent now. Me can't play for him, Sanka. Me and Facebook are in a worries. 50 Cent said, murder, murder. I still wake up with crime on my mind. The man say murder, let me get cartel off you know. Murder, murder, I still wake up with crime on my mind. Look what he's doing now, he's pointing a gun. Right now he's fight, pointing a gun. I still wake up with crime on my mind. These guys are speaking to our children. These guys are speaking to the youths. Enough people don't see that way. And I'm tell greetings, you know. And I'm tell our youths, listen man, it's okay. For you to be a criminal, it's okay for you to have your gun, it's okay to kill people, it's okay to commit crime, and it's not okay. And our children don't understand, so our children are gonna just emulate them and say, Oh, I like 50 Cent, you know, because he sing good song and into crime, so nothing wrong. Further down, he said, Don't tell the police about the things I have done, if you do, you will die. And the crime is called Informer, right? Informer. Big and serious. Now we have this other artist here now by the name of Nazir Jones. 
We know him as Naz. Yes. Nazir Jones, conscious artist, but he mess up. He mess up. He mess up somewhere. I tell you that straight up. Naz mess up. And we know. Because what he must say. A madness that. And we know say. Naz leg of the foolishness. But then again. They call it entertainment. This is when Naz have to say now. And we get we getting it from the horse's mouth, you know. We can't play along at this song because them American artists and so them copyright foolishness and them beat. But don't listen good. Take his right hands in the air, hold it to a fist and put it over your heart. Now let's say it all together, let the ceremony start. I shall stay real, stay true, stay holding fingers. Never put a bitch over my niggas. I shall never cooperate with the law. Never snake me, I always hold you down and wall. If they take one of mine, I take one of theirs. I never break the oath to the death, I swear. The man say, him sign allegiance to the alliance. We shall only put your hand over your heart and set a fist. And we swear, if they take one of ours, we're going to take one of theirs. That is what Naz is saying to the youths. I tell you, and this is what the artists them do. They are telling the youths, like Alkaline, telling the girl them to swipe and all them something there. When I write, telling them not shoot and all them things. You cannot tell our children them something there. We children need to grow and mature and understand reality and make a decision when they are adult. You know, I don't like to quote people in what Adolf Hitler said. If you want me to control a nation, give me that nation youth music and then control them right away with their music. And it's so true. Music is powerful. And Nazir, him tell us, we swear allegiance to the alliance. Listen to the party and if you think I'm joking. Listen. I swear that's how we pledge allegiance to the alliance of underworlds, killers and thugs. Though the signs of a nigga still yet to be found. So, so these artists, they can do better. Good, good morning, good afternoon, greetings, everyone. Bless up, Raquel Fab, bless up yourself. My people, we are doing it because we want our children to be mothers and fathers. We want to be granddaddy. We don't want to go to, to prison to look for our children. These entertainers are some of these entertainers are destroying our society. And every day you get up and talk about crime, 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 criminal. Why don't you look at the root and see where the problem is coming from? Musicians, they are influential people. And I just tell you what the researcher says about music. How music can enter you indirectly and it control you. You know, sometimes you sit down and do your one thing and music play just for yourself. I move and yawada, I move so. And later on, you say, Oh, is the music get to me? Because Bob Marley make it clear. Bob Marley said, When the music hit, you feel no pain. And that is why when you play Derek Peters, we say Derek Peters is a real artist. Because that brother could have come with him foolishness and him decide him not coming with it. If this side we say we want back the music, because him has see things the same way. Oh, we are see things and I shoot me I tell you no. Because them are artists, if I call themselves big man, them now respect the children them. And them sell out. Yes. Look what Nas done. Can you believe man a man like Nazir Jones? Nas have a song and then he say, I still sell crack. And all them stuff there. I still sell crack. And that's not sell crack. When you tell children that now they think it's a way of life, they think it's norm and they're gonna wanna do it. But in reality, it is wrong and we have to be careful what we teach you them. Some of them are teaching you them to shoot and take and tell some the female them to turn prostitute. Don't teach my children to shoot. Don't teach my daughter to turn a prostitute. It's not right. It is not healthy. My child needs to stay in school and learn and understand. When you put this music around now in her head or in his head, and him start to think it's normal guy coming from my favorite entertainer, you know what's going to happen now? Problem for me. Me have the pieces to deal with. So we have to lick out upon them. That's why I say, when I talk and run, kill me and done. Yeah. Now, this one, by the name of Eminem, I don't think I have done an Eminem song neither. Eminem said, here we go at the court of three. Yeah. Don't worry. Dad will make a nice bed for our mommy at the bottom of the lake. No more fighting with Dada. No more restraining orders. No more step Dada. Mm. This is what he's telling his child. This is what Eminem is telling his child. He said to his child, don't worry. At the count of three, we're gonna put mama, we're gonna give mama bed at the bottom of the ocean and telling a child that. Guy was talking this song, he was talking to his child. Yeah. He said, No more restraining orders. 
and no more step dada. Do you believe these artists are aware of the influence they have on the kids? Yes, I believe they are aware. And let me show you. Let me give you the, the evidence now. Eminem said in an interview, I'll be lying if I don't admit that the kids see me as a god. That is what Eminem said. I will be lying if I tell you that the children don't see me as a god. So they know what they are doing. And then Dilbert, I'm going to tell you now, we're going to go through and let you understand what these artists are saying and how they're deliberately doing these things to our children, our society, and our people. He said, I will lie in the children see me as a god. Then he continued and said, many of my rhymes intending to push my listeners' button. That's what Eminem is saying. And the song we're singing, name Role Model, and I'm back. That's where the quotation comes from. Eminem said, I'll be lying if I said I don't think I am a role model for the kids. Kids look up to me like I am God. Now, the South Warren Street kid said, Eminem is our Christ and we part in his name. Are you there? Are you listening to me, people? No, no, no. Oh, no, listen to me. I what? South Warren Street Kid said, Eminem is our Christ and we part in his name. One of his songs called Role Model Quote, follow me and do exactly what the song said. Smoke weed, take pills, jump out of school, kill people and drink. This is what our kids are digesting by the minute. Follow me and do exactly what the song said. Smoke weed. That as if that no bad enough. Take pills. What are pills? We don't know. Jump out of school. Kill people and drink. It might turn the world, our future into junkie. Eminem is turning. The entertainers are turning our children into junkie. Right? Okay. Spin Magazine said he rustly ramification he know he has on his listeners. And there are more disturbing sounds for our youths. Eminem said, I'll take each individual degenerate head and reach into it just to see if he is influenced by me. And if he listens to music and if he feeds into this shit, he is an innocent victim and become a puppet. So he deliberately doing this to the children then and to our people. I'm not lying on the guy. The evidence is there. In the same song, he declared his desire to go to Columbine. No wonder we have so much shooting in America by children in the school. In the same song, he declared his desire to go to Columbine and blow more children away. He said, when I'm back, I take seven kids from Columbine, start them up all in a nine, add them up with an AK-47, a revolver, a nine, a Mac 11, and that ought to solve a problem of mine. He is telling you that he has problem, and he wants it to be solved, and his problem is people. Then he continues and say, a whole school of bully shut up at one time. That is Eminem for you. This is what the entertainers are giving to our children. Now, when dealing with the question, how many young lives have you destroyed as a result of your lyrics? He played dumb. Then he said, little kids want to swear just like me. Running around screaming, I don't care, just like me. I think I was put here to annoy the world. And to destroy your liquor, four year old boys and girls. So he knew what he is doing. He know what he is doing, people. And we are telling you, the music is powerful and dangerous. And you have to understand and make sure you spend more time with your children. Oh, no, no, hear me. Now, this man is a millionaire now. JC become a millionaire. Eminem, billionaire, me. Eminem said, I'll be lying if I say the children don't see me as a god. Children look up to him as a god. And that is a quotation on the screen. Trust me, people. See, that is what he said. I'm not lying. The man said in many interviews. So we, we are here to tell you that. Let me just straighten up our thing and get the thing going. He continue again. I'll be lying. I said I didn't. I'm gonna tell you. 
he know he's a role model and he know what he's doing but he don't care he just want to destroy our children huh yes i bless up bless up ziana bless up keep it real ziana we are we are, we are be real with this thing uh, i miss when i talk and run kill me and done yeah man so you know we have to just build the thing properly and go through and let the people them see what's going on because our people is in such a dark stage you know and we have to try to help our people as best as we can the man to take people to out of school and drink and junk these are what he want you to do and your children to do so we're gonna have a future of disaster we're gonna have disaster with pure bully and that is what he want yeah man Eminem. So we are going to another artist now. Can we just go through a few of them and then we we'll see what's going on. We we'll see what's going on. He's talking about going to Columbine and all in place there. And he have problem because he said he have he he want to go to Columbine and shut up a whole bunch of bully. Why would you want to encourage children to shoot up school? No wonder why so much school gets shooting up by students in America. In America because these artists are telling the children them foolishness and when them hear the artists say things they do foolishness because they're young they're innocent and their mind young so they're doing foolishness and think that is normal and that is time in a normal little kids wanna swear like me little kids wanna run around and say I don't care like me and scream I don't care and all them stuff there just like me I think I was put here to annoy the world to destroy you like a four-year-old boy and girl. Look at that. He know what he's doing. Yeah, he know what he's doing. Big and serious. Yes, people. So we are, we are here now. I'm telling you, big and serious. Say, it is getting bad. So this is Jay-Z now, you know, who no, no, the Jay-Z, a 33 degree Freemason, who understands spiritual things. We talk about it all the while and all the spiritual rem work and all them stuff there. Big and serious. So you see him now, him is on your screen, you can't even see it properly. Yeah, man. Big up, Jackie. Of course. It will. The children don't know better. Then you have... Biggest small, the one who died a couple of years ago. Yes, Christopher Wallace to be exact. The late biggest small. Just before he died, he started a company called the Junior Mafia. He break it into three parts. And he called one part six. So now if a three part and one part is six, it's gonna be six six six. Vi Kairos Philai the eye. Yeah, that is in the Roman Catholic. Six six six. Big and serious. So the enemy really, really have these people and the music fraternity while we are wow yo art brown our own yo art brown wanna know him yes yes yo art brown and i must know the brother man and i must know the brother yeah yo art brown the great one hmm and go by the name of mad cabra yes but his name is yo art brown Anything I anything, anything I anything. Ha! How with the feel? You think you just fly with steel? My me and my friend then come share up your meal. Deal, we find out you are gonna was for real. Why run go station does wheel? Me you the tough chat, you must think we respond to that. Don't say you also come try to defend that. Your chat. Yeah, you know what I say? A man said, how will you feel? Him and a friend will come no matter if you line with steel and stuff and stuff and stuff and a whole bunch of stuff. But you know what happened to him recently, not now. I'm gonna show you what happened to him recently. I tell you, if you keep on talking negativity and keep on doing negative in this world, you're gonna be a victim of your own destruction. And a lot of people believe a joke me I make. Look here, look on the screen. Jamaican reggae singer Mad Cabra, whose real name is Yoart Brown, was shot last night in Jamaica. Report to be in serious condition. 
Well, what I want to tell you people, this is late news, but I'm just telling you, he sing about gun so much, and he get bullet from the gun. Cartel sing about gun and murder, and you see what happened to him. So this is my point I'm making here. This is long time news. He heal now, and all of this stuff heals. So you're not going to hear the cabra get shot or nothing like that. But I'm just telling you how, when you project certain energy, certain energy come back and reach you, and you end up in, that's why I said cock mouth kill cock, loose tongue destroy hard work. Because he sing this song, listen to this song. You can imagine you look a youth here who are artists who are love I say anything or anything, if I data anything, anything or anything. I mean and anything as in anything. That's what it means. And the man say anything or anything and then go down in him chorus and him touch punchline and then go down and then go down and then go down. Well, on here I say good, seriously. We have another one here, but we have a few of them and then we're gonna go to a different level. Carlton Grant, aka Sprogger Benz. Sprogger the Benz. I wanna listen to the Sprogger, you know, and then I'll tell you the story. Yes? Okay. Let me break down this for you. He said, mess with who? He might new Smith and Wesson. That's a gun. He said, they mess with him. He will shoot them and find the head of Kingston and the body of St. Anne. And he continue going and going and going to the chorus. Let us see what happened to Cabra, to, to Spraga too. Because they, he was in the news too. And all what I'm saying to you, it's all news. It's all news. It's nothing new now. But listen, let us see what happened to Carlton Grant, a.k.a. Spraga. First, he lost his son. From violence, somebody murdered him, son. Nobody don't know what it's a police, etc. That was bad. But as if that not bad enough, we're gonna see. We're gonna see, and we're gonna. I spoke to my friend, and I feel no way now. I'm a virgin, and we talked to him Monday. So now, Sprugger Benz wanted by Kingston Eastern Police. You see, when you deal with certain things, and so. He just missed it by the thick of his teeth because what happened to Cartel nearly reached him. I'm telling you, my people, you gotta be careful what you project out there in the atmosphere. You cannot try to damage our you damage yourself and say negative things in the atmosphere and expect to walk straight. Remember, you know, him send them lick them head. Let me play the song, we're gonna hear. Let me, 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 me hear it. This song suggests there is no forgiveness. Once you diss him, you're gonna die. Find the body of Kingston and the head of St. Anne. That the power of the gun he is suggesting he has. He say have an expanded clip and all them something there and all kind of description he's giving for the weapon that he is describing he has. This is what he's saying. And listen, Spraga Benz wanted by Kingston Eastern Police. And as I say to you again, this is all news. But he been through it. He almost get in the situation as cartel in. I'm telling you. He was on the run for a long while. But somehow or the other, he just get you. This other artist here, you are featured now. 
him go by the name of Rodney Price. In, his name is Rod, Rodney Price. But he go by the name of Bounty Killer. And guess what happened now? I gonna make you hear what Bounty Killer have to say. Not enough, but just give you a little bit of Bounty Killer. And make you hear what Bounty Killer have to say. What does that sound to you like? Boom, boom, bang, connect. What the sound to you? What happened right there? Eh? Tell me. Boom, boom, bang, connect. And people dead and all them something there. We're sitting with Bounty Killer now. Big up my brethren, Rodney. Big up yourself. Bounty Killer kind of take the moniker of people dead from them name now and start to see life. Because sometimes people get mature and learn through life. So in truth and all honesty, him kind of get off a hit a little bit. Him say cross, angry and miserable. Bounty say cross, angry and miserable. And he have a way to say, people dead. Appear dead in my column. Pure dead. Every minute dead, dead, dead. People dead. People this. You cannot do that, my brethren. You are in. But you see, you can't do pressure Bounty. Why? Bounty kind of ease off of them things and Bounty grow up and Bounty learn. But the one thing we may tell us, who not learn, we have to burn them fire upon them. Yeah, man. Because Bounty come back and say, you know what? Mm, madness, a madness, and him changing way and him try to walk on the right path now. Since him beat the woman with a hammer, I'm not thinking he's no madness again. But he was a dangerous guy. Because when a man take a hammer and beat a woman when he used to do with, that not sound like a, like a normal man. That sound like a somebody wants some help. Yeah. Because you can't take. And then they use him now to be advocate for women. Make it get it even worse. How can you beat a woman with a hammer? That is the passing, I'm telling you. But still yet, we have to remember, say, they have one particular wanting to be advocate for women. The one man who beat a woman with hammer, you would have liked that man for different women and talk good things about women. I may not get it. Trust me, if somebody gone foolish. But that me I tell no big and serious. Say, my people, we have to be careful what we say out of our mouth. We have to be careful what we project out there in the universe. Because what you said can come again and haunt you. A lot of people don't understand that. You know, they think I do a business. You, know. you don't go around and say what you want to say and try to spread destruction out there. Because if you understand spiritual life and spiritual things and how spiritual activities work, you're going to realize that. Your Bible tells you that God speak at the sea farm, the land, the tree, everything farm. The only thing your Bible tells you that God make is human being. Because God take the clay of the dirt and make man. But everything you speak and it's farm. Remember, we read that in the Bible. When it comes to mankind, your Bible tells you that God bend down and make man and do something like a mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation and blow the breath of life into man and man become a living soul. So if you have the breath of life in you, which is a part of God, you have the power to do some of the things that God can do because he equip you with the ability to do things. And that is why mankind can go in an airplane and lift up off the earth and go to another place and land peacefully and safe because God gives them that skill and that ability to do it. No elephant can do it. No monkey can do that. No dog can make an airplane. So mankind have a part of God in them. And when you speak, you speak and a hand come and farm out whatever you say into your life. And in the scientific world, they call it karma. But in the spiritual world, we know. You speak things into your life. Destruction come and come dwell with you. You get me saying? Yes, people. So them, we are telling big and serious. Now let me see who else we have here. I have a whole bunch of them, you know, but we're not do all of them today. Yeah, bounty killer say anytime I'm hungry again, they will go see nine. And all kind of something and all kind of thing and thing. But we as I say, we can ease him up a little bit because him personally in try to change. And him try to be good now. He might go to church and all them stuff there and do good things. You know, I want like we are. You give things to the church, them and to the hospital, them and thing like that. And we understand how we might try to make it right. So right now, I would say, if you project certain energy, you're gonna become in the future whatever you put out there. It's gonna come back to you and it can destroy you and your life. Be believe it or not, my friend. I'm not telling you. Eileen, bless up, sister. We are saying. Mm. So Ziana. How you do? What you know, say? If you don't believe, say, then you don't feel the like glory and things like that. You know, can't give me a one signal and make me know what I go on, you know. But in truth and all honesty, me are telling you big and serious. We have to be careful what we say. Both to our children and ourselves. Remember, me show your vibes cartel. When him sing, knock it, knock it, knock it. And say, the, 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 the crime rate 
have a step of 50% every month. Listen again. You know it's the war teacher. Tell them say I'm crying, I can't them fuss no fire, no gunshot, this thing like it's no wire. The man said he knows the hat like the key when I cop. The T when I cop. That means he must tell you say when him boss the shot. Him know about gun, you know. Cartel know about gun. Cause me no know about gun. I me never know say when gun boss. The nose will get hot. Like the T in the cop. That's what he said. He giving you a vivid description of what and how gun operate and what he's doing and what he want to do and his intentions. So listen good. He said, dig the life until it buck, the rifle till the buck, and every marrow in his body broke. And he continue to rhyme and go on. Listen for yourself. He said, push his knife in his belly like he need a tummy tuck, meaning that, you know, belly too big. So I'm cut out, so I tell you, this brother here, him, him, him dangerous. He can use some good adjective. Him same walk away from the scene, in his shirt, he's gonna wrap up. I'm just, you know, paraphrase, I'm just repeating what he said for you to understand what the man has said. And look what happened to him now, look where he is now. The man said the pebbles are swelling up like Sherman Clump. Whatever he mean, I don't know, but he's giving you a story and his things. He's giving a good description, trust me. And he's going into detail. Listen. He say a bullet unlimited, like the game named Duck Hunt. So the man really equipped. The crime rate must go up 50% every month. That is what he's saying. I wanna tell me say wanna talk about free a man like that will say these kind of thing and end up charged for murder. Ninja man again. He might want that one again. We have we have theme segment to do. But we're not gonna do this today because we don't want to pack up a place with too much artists. Somebody say to me, say Baba, you know what does make a thing them short and nice and spicy. Don't carry so too long all the while. So I take the advice. Cause we're gonna give you over six hundred artists and their experience and what happened to them and stuff like that. But we just block it, you know? Yes. So big and big and serious people, listen to this. Cartel. So you need to know that the man sing this song years ago and now the man is in prison for murder. What do you think my people? Tell me what you think about that. Alright now you know, see for yourself. Years ago the song sing and now he's in prison for murder. Yeah? And it's not an allegation, it's not alleged. It's it's a convicted man now, he's convicted. I can call him a prisoner and he can't sue me. If a case turn over, overturn, he can't sue me because he is a convicted criminal for murder. The case overturned, we see how it goes with But right now, I can't tell you. He sing this song 2007, somewhere around there. And he's in prison now. Most people, the life they live, they act it out to their music in their everyday lifestyle. That is why I want to tell you this now. Sometimes you see a man, you know, and he look good like how the one young lady tell me, say, Wesley Snipe, no, Denzel Washington rather. 
is a nice man and she love him can done. What she do, she love the man craft. Cause obviously she don't know the man. She know the man acting skill and she like how him doing thing when he act. So she end up love the acting part of him. But she don't know the man. So she but she claims that she love him. I'm telling you, Jack, Ziana, he cause he one demise. That's exactly what happened. And Bunty Killer just barely get away. I'm telling you. So big and serious people, we have to careful what we say and how we do things and what we say in this life. Because we can speak destruction in our life. The man say, listen good, I want to finish it. They're ready to confront any time and the gun may have longer than in one front. So the man will tell you have various kind of gun around here. He tell about AK-47, him tell about that they gun, him tell about this ya gun and him just going into detail with him gun them. And now he's charged, he's not charged, he's now convicted in prison for murder. So one thing about it. So, the man I say, find the head of town and the body of St. Anne, and this and that. I don't know here what happened to Spraga Benz, because you don't know that his son was murdered. And I thought, I think it, they, they say the police murdered his son. And he now happened to be in trouble, and they say Spraga Benz wanted by Kingston Eastern Police. So, most of the artists that we feature here, they create their own destruction. Ninja Man, Vibes Scott, Tell Mad Cabra, get shot name Chess. Battering for life. Yeah, we have him here too. We have Mad Cabra. Where is it? Yeah, we have Mad Cabra. We have the whole of them here. We go through them. So right now, people, I want to understand that these entertainer should look to these to artists like this and listen to artists like this, and they will be okay. These are the artists that we want to hear about. Them your artists, yeah. Because them your artists, yeah, play the right tune. Them your artists, yeah, understand the danger, the music inner. Them your artists, no say. Really and truly, and a so reggae music figure. That is why the Chinese man take it the wrong way. That is why the German had a reggae festival every time, and not even invite reggae artists again. They create some command and had a man there singing a jump and call it reggae. Because the business contaminated. <laughs> Just 
And then my artists and yeah, me listen till me listen to them artists yeah, every day, every time. Because them artists yeah, sing the right music. They not tell about no gun and prostitution. You not tell me daughter fit on prostitute. You not tell me son fit on gunman and criminal and sell drugs and all them something and encourage you with a criminal activity. No. We want to hear music we can make with dance and have fun and understand the, the, the beauty of our music. Not somebody gonna tell us to them bust them gun and you this and you that and you dung in a throat and all the madness. Thing. We don't need that. That is not music. I'm sorry, but that is not music. All who feel the artist ya, tell me. Let me know if you are feel the artist ya. Tell me if you don't feel the artist ya. Big and serious. Because we need to bring back the days. Bring back the good, 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 good days them. We don't want to hear nobody talk about dung in your throat and them something. If adult, listen now. And I'm going to qualify my statement. If adult want to go down in them throat or over them throat or around them throat, that's a for them business. But don't introduce our children to this kind of thing ya. Don't introduce our teenagers and our children to this kind of lifestyle. I don't, I don't believe it right. Trust me. Don't tell our child about it. swipe and wipe and wipe. When them turn big, they can do what they want to do. But don't push it in their face and because you're an influential person. Now you influence them and they say, oh, my artist said it, you know, so you know, we have to try it, you know. God, trust me, it look cool. That's what them always say, you know, it look cool. We don't depend that they kind of galang in with them, sure guy. We don't depend on galang in there with them. Ziana, me I tell you we gonna see if you wanna hear music like this. Bring back the good old days, Mr. That brother here when near Mr. Peters. Me say Derek Peters, y'all looking at thing deep like me no brethren. And this we want in the business. Bring back the good old music. Bring back the good old days. Well, right now, I tell you. So we see what happened to these artists who project negative energy into the atmosphere and try to tell our children to do negativity. Tell them don't in a short swipe and all them foolishness there. And you know, Chicago, the cargo try come back and can't come back all now. Because him say he was a rasta. Me know they have to judge nobody. Cargo say he was a rasta and said Chimney Lacks can want to have threesome. Is that really a reason for somebody chimney locks for? Or is that really a reason for anybody to come publicly? You wanna be freaky, you know what they call you dirty jet, so you wanna come on man. You know see Frank Cargo Chim Chimin Locks, he just jack just he just spiral down all the way. No disrespect, you know, can't go my bridges still and I like him silent. But we have to speak the truth. That is why we say me now nah, talk and run. Kill me and done. We can't hide the truth, the man chimney locks kind of saying we want to go to cheese some. And I don't think that is something where you come and tell the public. Yeah. So these artists here, they don't even know to put them bed life, them private life one side and put entertainment, good, good, sweet entertainment. Mr. Mr. Peters, I want everybody to buy Mr. Peters song, you know. 
Raquel. Me say we want to go buy Mr. Peter's song, you know, because Mr. Peter's are the real man. The man and me have said the same thing with the same length. Yeah, man, we want to hear good, good reggae music. We don't want when we are listening to the music, we hear some foolishness. We don't want what you're doing in your bedroom and in your privacy, you come bring it out here. So we don't need to know, we're not interested into that. I was on the chair the other day, me and my son, I go about my business. And two losers start kiss up in front of you, and we talk about two males, you know. And the devil coming at me, and I feel like I'm going to hold him, you know, man. But when you know, it's England, this, and you know the trouble, you have to just get up out of the coach there and go in another coach, you know. The boy and the next partner will start kiss up right in front of him, and the little child is there. Huh? No, man, they're not doing this, you man. Away at that. Do you think what you want to do? Don't bring it to me. Don't bring it to me, Pitney. Over there, so you stay with it. But don't push it in my face. Don't push it in my face. We don't chase it. We don't know. We don't need to know what you want to do, what you want to do. You could keep it till you get where you're going. You're two losers. Trust me, man. We have to just get up and then. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to bring back the days, yeah, man, and easy. Because people trust me. Men say to you, you know, really and truly, you know, we have to set the foundation and we will fight against the negativity. Cargo, right now, him can't come back. Because him done. Natural black again, I wanted a one when we have a bonfire pan too. Him chimmy locks the boy, him sing one whole 14 album, and him now make no money. And he a pitney for feed, so him gonna do underskirt song. And friend he gonna do underskirt song, nobody hear about natural black again. The good, good natural black, we say, then they fall from reality. The, the one we say, I can't remember. We don't hear about natural black again. I mean, since that talk, go on like my idiot, you know, I sing some foolishness nowadays, you know. I mean, I say, wait, hold on, hold on. I saw greed really work. I say, people, I saw greed really work, Raquel. Ziana, I saw greed work. Natasha, baby girl, trust me. Tell me you know, my God, us not get too emotional. Let us just reason nice and quiet. Come, you know, I know hard problem. I know, you know, no stroke and thing like that. So let me just calm down and reason with you. Know. Is that the way greed really work? Where you wanted and you believe that when you sing good song, you know, make money? Look at Luciana. Luciana is touring the world. And Lucian and I sing nothing funny. Lucian is going places. But full, full cargo. Although my mother say I'm an idiot anyway. And I can say it because his mother say he's an idiot. And I'm quoting from what his mother say. Cargo. Say him can't but be rasta life again anymore. My chimney locks can't want to cheese some. Then he come out with one idiot and come sit down in my place. And I try to tell people like he people like idiot. Like we don't see the pun. We don't see the, we don't see the indirect. We don't see what my try to say. And, oh, you're going to sit down at my place and then him try to talk the foolishness inside the line of the song. What he done, him must say, come sit down at face. But he just use the word place. And we know, we understand, because people are idiots and the whole world know that. That's why nobody ever go with the song. Because, me believe, you know, you just mean what you say, I say what you mean. Otherwise, you don't say nothing. My word have to represent me. That's why many people, when they talk to them, you know, they can see through me so easily. Because who I am, you can see it through my word. Cause I know I've got time to tell you about foot and then I hand me a deal with and confuse myself and you. It makes no sense, my bridging. The man say he want to have a different kind of lifestyle, a normal lifestyle, not good for him anymore. He want cheese some and he couldn't keep it to himself. He have to go out there. But tell the world, I'm a chimney lax now because I want them kind of something there. And I say that a foolishness, my bridging. Natural black again start singing about under woman. I say, woman. You see, when you hear men try to abuse and disrespect one another, we don't know if it's dance to it, don't know if it's sing to it, don't know if it's support it, don't know if it's block them. When Akalina the talk about this, this and that, and I don't know if it's listen to him, don't know if it's gone away, don't know if it's support him. No, y'all say, a young lady and I were having a conversation, she say, I know me, my talk, I don't tell them. I mean, I say, hold on, there, hold on. How you mean, I know you, my talk, I don't tell them, and the man say, woman, and the man say, girl, and the man say, girl. And you fall in that category and you are trying to separate yourself and say alkaline is your artist, you make you laugh. What is that, that for your laugh? I'm gonna tell you, say so you have to push your tongue in him, now in, you know them good people say, and then you are laugh. And I say it make you laugh. You don't have a private conversation with something openly, man not talking public. Then gauge again without him knowing we don't hear about him anymore. He come a dung in your throat, dung in your throat. Where him gone? No way. You have to get creative, man. You know, see the German take away music. You know, see the Chinese take away everything for me. You know, see the whole world run with, with our nothing left. You know. The little ganja we used to depend on and make little money off. You know, you see what happened? Canada gone with it. We don't have nothing. Playing a travel from Jamaica to Canada. I cannot legalize ganja. Everything gone left. We left empty handed and foolish. I'm telling you. 
the little reggae music where we have God bless with the Almighty, omnipotent bless us with something, and we dash it away. Right now, them little man, yeah, Mr. Derek Peters and the money, I try to fight to keep reggae music in the country, in the family. All we have right now is remnant. Trust me, people. The youth, them contaminate the thing so much, man. You can't see a sing song. When me I grew up as a youth, you know, we used to go to places and hear good music and we enjoy ourselves. And everybody happy. Now that, now go on. If you go, right now, me don't go to them places anymore, anyway. Mm -mm. Me don't go to party, me don't them things anymore. I don't care how party nice and the name sound good, me don't go there. Me don't have no time to go there, because me no say. Me can't tell you what will happen there before me go. And me can't see it, so what will happen because of the environment there. Plus the alcohol, me know what, me can't tell you the outcome. Yeah. Some of them go party on them things there. But when we see it on Facebook and all them places, and they share them things on Facebook, and we see how the dance look, we say, wait, they don't dance where we used to go. That is stinking, stinking. Not you, my friend. That is stinking with you. Mud them up, man. Dirty them up, man. I say, dirty them up. Big and serious. Cause the brother just come in and can't move about 26, 27 year old. A young youth, you should respect him, mother. If you have one. And you sing them things about a woman, another man, mother. Another man's sister. And you think it is good, it's normal for you to sing all these kind of things? No, man. That's why I say I have a look out for Bon Tequila, even though we can't see with him, because Bon Tequila try to make amends. But he still have to get a little fire. He have to get a little fire from me, because you can't take hammer. And beat him and inspect him and go grin with him. Oh, yeah, why, Lord? You beat him. Why, your hand never, your, if you want to beat the woman, no man should beat him, and I don't believe in a woman beating. But if you want to beat the woman, Bridget, your hand couldn't just give her a little squeeze or something like that. You have to take up hammer. You're a coward, man. You're a fool. Tell him. You beat a woman, tender, juicy, nice woman with hammer. See, I like, tell you, say, no. Life is so unfair. Wanty, wanty, can't get it, and get it, get it, and want it. Eh? I'm telling you, people, but then again, I'm telling you. You don't know if you listen, ladies, I'm telling you. You know, mustn't support them people they were saying them kind of thing about you know. No man is supposed to come publicly and describe you know, whatever them think, assume, or do with you. Know. And whether I do it with you directly or not, and then you entertain it and say a dirty girl, my daughter. No, man. You see, when somebody says nothing about my culture, my religion, my place, my people, you touch me. Because when you say that about the Muslim, you touch them. And I believe we have to defend our own. And as a as woman, not as a woman, because I'm not a woman. As women, you are women. You know what happens? You don't have to defend and upset. But when we notice, you know, the woman in the stunt party, when I don't hit one another, we don't know reason, you know. And we can't take a girl, you know. I mean, I like that girl, you know. Why you don't like her? There's no reason why you don't like her. You just don't like her. Why? The devil coming here and you say you don't like her when you should embrace her as a sister. And say, come on, sister, you know what happens? Yeah, you know, you together, you know. Me hear woman as a server, right? Girl get abused. And instead a woman sympathize with her, woman is saying server, right? And me as a weird, then you don't know your idea will come somehow, somewhere. You cannot say server, right? When you see a victim come publicly and crying out, I can abuse so many women and you talk about the girl, them licky licky and them parents licky licky. Come on, we don't know the story, but good God Almighty, man. No care how licky licky and so, R. Kelly is wrong and he need to be tell them wrong. He need to know them wrong. And that is all we are talking about. And women don't to get together. That's why I'm saying, you know, I tell them all the while, you know, and if you open an organization now, make it be Caribbean or black woman organization where women can come and speak them truth, them story, and you can help them and guide them because all of people are suffering in silence because they don't know where to turn. And they tell them, for idiot man, them busy, and idiot man, take it, tell them when certain things are right. And when he wants like a bumpy squeeze in their face and she's saying tired, he thought cuss and tall, oh, it's because some man don't have no level. And that's why me have to come here and try to help the few that I can help. But we know we have, we have a lot we're going to last, and we have a lot we last. But I can only do as much, and I can only do my part. But women, you cannot hear a man and disrespect another woman and you sing and laugh and do. Here's Spice again, you tell the guy if you go do what with the mother. Can you imagine a woman and tell a man if you go do this with the mother? And people laugh and the boy deserve it. How can your woman tell a man to do that to the mother? And you are saying the man deserve it. So what I'm trying to tell you now, people. Friend, I know you happen to you to take what yourself and say, it's okay, it's not me. So when you come from your doorstep, now you want somebody to sorry for you. When you never sympathize with that person, when that person crying out and looking for some shoulder to lean on. How selfish can you be? You know, right? 
trust me. Me no respect them thing there. I don't know block them boy there. When I say block them, don't go to them party. Don't, don't support them and they have to change the way how them sing music. They have to change the way how they go about this thing. Because they now get no show. They now get popular. Nobody now rate them. So they have to change the way. Now they would have to go back to the giant board and find some good lovely song. Baby, I love you. Baby, I want to be with you. Baby, last night was wonderful. You know, you make butterfly in my system. Them thing is all all right. But when you start to talk about this fat, this, that, this, that, and all kind of different parts and the whole part different thing, it make no sense to me. I don't find that as entertainment. And I wonder how woman find. Anyway, we want Eric Peters. Uh, him we want. Them your artists we want. <laughs> Bless up, bless up, bless up, sister. God bless you, God bless you. You know, yeah, man, I love the vibe, I love the vibe, seriously. It's wonderful to know that we have some wonderful, loving people around town. And honestly speaking, I lost my mother 27 years ago. And if she was here today, she would be right beside me. Yes, I don't know how it would be possible, and I don't know what I would have done, but she would be here with me because I learned long ago that, you see, mother, woman, something for you to cherish especially your mother you only got one mother and these idiots don't understand how powerful women are and they just abuse them and some of these girls allow men to abuse them so much and then they still want to cry and say the boy had fear and you know the problem you know the answer for your problem you know what to do but oh i don't want to laugh i don't want to this i don't want to hurt him and they try to find out can i excuse so reason it away eh? A man tell you to your face he don't want you blatantly and everywhere. And you see him no want you, you still hold on to him. Why you hold on to the wind, baby girl? Why you hold on to water? You can't hold water nor wind. They are elements. You have to let it go. I love him. Love what? How you can love? You cannot give away your God, my friend. How you can love him and him not love you? Oh, you're mad. You have to love yourself first. And then you give it out. You have to have love within you for you. And then you can give out that love that is within you to somebody else. But you are giving you know, God to the madness. And a lot of people confuse a lot of things with love. We see that over and over and over. People confuse a lot of things. Infatuation, lust, like. Sometimes the person like how you know look. And him saying love you. You think he love you. He don't love you. He just like how you know look. Later on he get used to you know he don't like you again. Car in reality. Him have a pre meditated mind inside her head thinking about something and in mind go down in her mud and then you make him make you become a victim because oh he's saying love me and him take me to the shop you know while walking on the street he hold my hand and he be a gentleman when you go to the car and run around the next side and open the door for me so him love me 
two weeks later, I'm not doing it again. I'm not, I'm not let you through the car again. I'm trying to tell you about it. I'm not beating you with a hammer. I start calling you how underneath you look and all them something. Then nobody ever know. And you look, him lucky enough to see how underneath you look. And him come around. I tell you and the world how underneath you look. As if it's something to talk about. And with the yako, I'm like we're embracing negative energy. A young lady said to me, listen, the man is abusing her. And we know the story. We don't call nobody name, we cannot. The man is abusing her. The man who park and walk out of the house. And she said, she not left him because they have a child together. So she decided to hold on. And guess what now? The man realized that he become important. Because she make him important. And he can say anything to her. And she take it. So he just dance with her. When he want anything, he want a little money. I, I, you know, again, come back think about it now. I don't want to switch from me. I say, you know, come to think about it. I cannot see how some man love to take things from women and like to look for a mama, you know. Me don't know how it work. I mean, I understand it. Because me have to work hard for everything when me want and me love. Where I'm from, as a matter of fact, we learn to take care of women. I born, come see man, take care of women. And the woman look good and them look nice and people happy. Yo, me love your girl, no boy. You feel nice and yourself. You know, say you have something or someone which is very valuable. But then, my boy, you know what? They watch you are dead. And to the point of death, and then just say, you know, I'm in a business. I want to still see man cheating like that. I want to still hold on to them and talk about your love. You know, loving man. Because this young lady we're speaking about now. She don't love nothing but the little sex that she get because she don't know nothing about life. She a young bud. So she believes, you know, this is it. The boy don't even have a decent way to go about and taking care of a woman. He don't even have nothing about him. And he abuse the girl and that make me grieve. And when you look at the girl, you see a decent girl and this little ragamuffin just come in her heart and in her life and have her a dance on her finger so it hurt me. Because if it was somebody, of substance, you could understand. And no disrespect, we know the people, and that's why I talk like this. It means nothing, not at all. He don't have a job, he don't have nothing, he don't have nothing at all. Man, just a loser, a layback boy, just wasting time doing foolishness. He don't have no way for money turn over, nothing. Because when you say don't have a job, many people have a job, they have other things that make them money because they're business people or stuff like that. So, job is not the only way, but I'm just giving you for the argument. See, yeah. So, and this girl just on and on, you know, this and that. Then what make it worse now? She tried to lock him in the house because she, you know, she claims that she love him. And she want to lock him in the house. Guess what? He want to go out. He fling her down and choke her and put on two back on her face. And she don't realize that time now to leave the boy alone. Guess what? She still a fight for the poor boxer. No, but me I sit on no people. You see, sometimes when you see sign. We don't know if we make it get further. I don't know if we make sure stop it in its chop. As we said, nip it in its bud. But sometimes we not do it. I would not do it. Because me personal, if me a date you, if me a date a woman right now, certain things she said, a certain things she do, we just say goodbye. You know why? We don't have the time for no foolishness. And me don't have the time to teach you some basic thing where you should have learned already. Because me, I tell you, we are all used before. We are not newcomer in other words, we are not newcomer, we used before, we are second hand, in other words, we are not brand new. So if you are 35, 40, 45, 50, and you don't know some basic thing you want me now, if you invest one of six months now, you fit, fit, fit teach you how to do some basic thing, no man, that me have to do that for my child, our children. Me can't teach big people. So me I said to no big and serious. We are not going out with that person, you know. I start reason with them and I see how they respond to certain reasoning and how they behave, you know. You can know right away say I know your type of person that you know. No matter how they look good. Well a lot of bridging them say how oh, the girl look good man, no matter how the mind mess up. No matter how the mind mess up, they still want her. Cause she look good. That's why I tell you about the bridging. My own bridging will get bite up the other day cause <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, he, he meet a young lady and him go home with her and thing like that. She's kept the fan here, you know. Sick. She not deliberate to bite him. She just he skipped the fan and just chip in and just grab the ears and bust it. And I go see the Balusha master. I try to lie to me and tell me, oh, you know, I got accident. I'm say, what accident? When I'm bust your ears like that. After a while, you know, I say, boy, I be here. Chow, chow, man, chow. I say, we are chow, so I want to talk to you, Bridget. I say, you know, I tell you the truth, me, I'm a Bridget, I'm a soldier. Well, anyway, you give me permission to say this. So we say it a couple of days ago. We just uh, reiterate it for who they were here. And him go with the expectation to what we call have sex. And then, you know, the girl just, and bust the ears. 
Just bust the ears right now with her teeth and decide if you bust the throat and then kind of do so and flash her off and run out of the house. And then after this, now you realize that a sick woman pick up on the street. Because they tell us the sickness of printing up people's face. They call her bless up, sister. Well, I'm a long time, darling. How are you doing? Yes, and dearly, how are you? Bless up, bless up. Yes, my people. So we are telling us right now, you must not learn to hold on to the water. You mustn't learn to hold on to the wind. You mustn't learn to hold on to something where you can't hold on to. You must know when to let go. But some of us too fear. Full, we too believe that our oh, wife is gone or if she gone, we now get no replacement. And that is a problem. When you know nobody, you will find good somebody. But when you decide to hold on to a man and him a black traffic, how the hell another man will come in? And him already a black traffic and him useless. We are bound the fire upon them too. Big and serious. As I said, Bonte killer beat the girl with a hammer. That's a red flag. Straight up. Mr. Peters, deal with it. Bless up Natasha Graham, keep it real. BSB with it to the fullest. Keep it real, my friend. Everything good. Jackie Lenziana, bless up yourself, same way. Yes, Miss Andeli, Evangelist, Nicola Simit, keep it real. People, may I tell them because I'm serious, you know. You have to got it to give away. And if you don't have it to give away, you can't give it away. So you can't give away your got. And most of the people, they matter about love, love, love. They just use that to fool you because they know so you love to hear that. You want to hear that. But love is more action than lip service, you know. Yeah, man. I wish if you couldn't see loving people for it, now you could know, yes, this person loves me for you. But unfortunately, you can't see it in a forehead. So what you have to do, you have to make sure you do your one little weird, your one little world. Because, you know, you have to know how to deal with it. I can't tell you. Because me and man at the same time, I can't, mm. I can't tell you. I just can't tell you. I don't have to go into no detail. I can't tell you. But if you're smart man, if you're smart and you may want the woman them line up and unite and know yourself and when you find that you have a sister around you will slow, you sit down and teach her and reason with her and if you can't take that reason you have to just avoid her. Because some of them sisters you know they have such a mindset, you know. Yesterday we speak about people who walk in with people mining in their pocket, people brain in their pocket, and it is so true. I know for situation as a matter of fact. Me know it good, good, good. This young lady meet a man and the man right and everything right for her and she say, Oh, I'm excited, well, you know. But one thing about it, I got to make you meet my friend. When you meet a friend, a friend, oh, well, I'm nice guy, you know, but you know what, he might be a trouble. And a few type of man, that man. And she's so damn gullible. What she do? She left the man, tell the man, you know, go and talk to him because her friends say they are not compatible. And later on, the friend just take the man and start moving the man and she say, what a evil. As if you never know that. As if you a baby, you don't know the people are evil just like that. The friend sees something in the man and knows she wants an opportunity. And the friend just say, oh, I don't feel type of man that man, make it go. And the poor girl follow the friend and then later on the friend take with the man. Right now they not talk. Yeah. So some people is walking with other people bringing them pocket. Because everything them say goes. That's why when you do it, three different type of woman. We do the independent woman, we do the worthless woman, and we do the woman where it's neither independent nor worthless. Any wind blow, if one worthless wind come, she will follow. If one independent man come, she will follow. We know, yeah, we do we treat different type of woman about, I think about two years ago. Yeah. Because we go through many areas of life. Trust me, if you go back and look at some of my things, them both YouTube and Facebook, and so you will see them all. Three different kind of woman, the independent woman. The worthless woman and the one neither independent nor worthless. If a worthless man come, she will turn worthless. If a progressive man come, she will turn progressive because she have no mind of her own. And we know that. Yeah, the independent one, she knows what she wants and she's going for what she wants and nothing can divert nor distract her. She's like just going straight to where she wants. The worthless one is just going straight to the worthlessness. And then the other one now she does, you know, neither worthless nor independent. So, any wind comes, she blow with it. 
You know? So if one friend come, if a girlfriend come and say, oh, you know, I'm coming down so now. She can't say, no, me not go. She have to go even though she don't want to go. If one person say, come go do this, she have to go. So she always end up in trouble. Because she have no mind of her own. She cannot make this a jam. And we know about them kind of people, the bless up stand daily. We know about them kind of people. Some me come together now and summarize women and say, you know, we have three type of women. Progressive one who know what she want and nothing can stop her. The worthless one who don't want nothing, no matter how much dead left her, how much opportunity she get, how much wealth she get, she's going to throw it away because she does bent and worthlessness. And you have another one now, she's neither worthless nor independent. Then the wind come. God help her, she meet a progressive man and the man just guide her in the right path. Otherwise, she's going to just go and know the worthless set. You understand me? Mm. So we do all of them there. And we go through them kind of reason there. And we do the whole part thing about human life. That's why Yannick Brown become myself. That's why Yannick Brown call me the life teacher. Yeah, because right now when I see me, I don't know, easy in a chat, you know. Because me I tell no people, I hope a thing we need to talk about and got you in life. Because I know some people them need to know what's going on in life. Yeah. Because most of it, we grow, we get big and tall and strong. And we say we are man and we are woman. But still, it we miss a whole part thing on the way. We never pay attention to the details around us. We just turn big and just doing big things. But we don't know nothing. Because some of we left school, we don't read again. Some of we left school, we don't do nothing. Because we do it academic again. We just shut it down. We shut off that now. Somehow we can't wait for when school comes and school lock off. We're not busy with nothing again. Education stop right there. But as long as they're alive, my friend, there will always be a way where you can get more information and make yourself smarter. Because I tell you, Scientists will tell you that you have only used 25% of your brain. So why did you got 100%? Then you can use 50, you can use 75, you can use the full 100 if you want. Yeah, that's why we talk about the three different, the four different level of consciousness. The sub, the super, the supra. And tell you how to activate your consciousness. When you tell people that, you see, I will be a man. And they not even understand certain things. My friend, me say, we have to be smart in the life, yeah. Because fool dead. And even your Bible tell you that. Fool die. Because them lack of knowledge. There's a sun heavy, stone heavy. But a fool heart heavier than both sun and stone put together. The fool is light in a folly. And we can't be a fool around here. Because we, you know, recently when we see on Facebook, two black people come together and get a white child. Me say, me not miss the argument, you know, show an argument him. Two black people come together and get a white child. Tell me if two white people can come together and get a black child. I never heard of it. Maybe I never hear about it. But we have 50 million dark shade of black. We have the brown black. We have the chocolate black. We have coolie black. We have the dundus black. We have the albino black. And we have so many different shades of black. But white is just white. If a girl left white, it's one black. Because it's white and black we have. So when a woman give birth to albino, white man stand up for them people and them black. The yellow man are black man. That are Chinese man, them are the Indian man. They are black man. So black and white. So when we tell us, we as black people, we are powerful. But we refuse to use our power. We refuse to use what we got. If you have 100% of your brain, why you want to circle for 15 or 12? Because them say the average person use 25%. So most of them who are not the average and who below the average use 12 or 10 or maybe 8 or 5 or 3. That's why when you meet some people, you say, want to screw this in them. Because the way they may behave, you know, so they don't connect properly. And they're a buffoon. Jenny, bless up yourself, darling. How are you doing? We see you, man. We see you. We see you. Yeah, man. Some people, what I'm saying to you right now is that we have to make sure we put ourselves in line and know what we are doing and don't let no distract and nobody nothing distract. We want to see what you want, you just go for it. Because even the Bible tells you for this cause a man should leave his mother and father and find a woman and it will become two different person. No, sir, no, so the Bible says it will become one. No, no, two different person at this. So, what me are telling us is you can see us. People, we have to know what we are doing and we have to go for what we want. And when reggae music is in a bad condition right now, when you tell the girl them down in a throat is madness, when you tell the people about cheese song is madness, when you tell the people about kind of dotting is a special hour little Ted and 11 and 12 year old them something they, they think it's normal. My son come tell me, I teach him now homosexual in a, in, a, in a school. So me have to teach him what is homosexual. He knows, listen, we burn fire upon them something there. And you know, you, you know, you know, in other line, if you that thing there, they have to teach you because I saw them do them thing. 
But you have to make your son know how we set up and teach your children and make them know where I go on. Because when you go to school, when you go to school, you know, the teacher just did a chat, whatever they give them for the day for write, you know. Well, today we're gonna talk about, you know what? Mm, we're gonna talk about maths, English, we're gonna talk about homosexuality and so on. So, oh, gay is okay, it's okay to be gay. You don't tell a level year old that. It's like you tell him, say, all right, it's, that's why the Pope and the priests and all these people trouble children, you know. Nicola, you're still there. That's why I'm saying, I'm a bonfire panel, all them sisters, you know, I do it the other day. And me said the other day, say, the big confusion. And we say changes of the word. And we say go back to the Tanakh Bible. And we say don't make Babylon deceive you and fool you up. And me play a whole documentary here you know, and the woman them say, me say, yo, me play too long and get them bored. It's interesting, but it bored them because what? It too long and me decide to ease off of the documentary because baby can only take milk. Baby can't take big dumpling and big rice and chicken. You have to give baby milk. You don't know, stuff big food in baby throat. You have to give them milk because you will stifle and choke the baby and kill them. So just give them milk. So right now when we are dealing with you no know, people, things where we might know, we cannot dash it on because me know it and I run through it for many years. We we'll probably just start introduced to it. So we have to take the time and come in a little by little, little by little till we get where we want to be. Yes. And anybody you see our reason with and have a mindset and you know, willing to reason out things. But it's our mindset, you have to keep away from that person. I don't care how you are showing them the truth, they not go see it because they have a mindset. And that is where the problem is. When a person open and you can reason with them and they can agree to disagree, it's okay. But some people, oh, you know what? I'm dealing with tradition. I was a Roman Catholic and I born a Roman Catholic and nothing not changed me. That's madness. When I was a boy growing up, my parents, let's say parents, you know, not parents. I take back that. My parent, I was a single parent child. Yes. My parent tell me a lot of things. After me grew up in eight, me realized, but after all, mommy did just get it wrong, you know. Why mommy get it wrong? Because somebody tell her wrong. Mommy never tried to deceive me. Mommy just get it wrong and mommy give me what she got. And unfortunately, me realize that what mommy is giving me is not necessarily the truth. It's something where somebody hand on to her. And I start to question things deep and start look deep and looking at some things. And my first encounter with certain things on the outside world. And I say, you know what, hold on. Me know me no junk. But I first thing you have to check yourself when things are happening to you. You have to make sure say, you know, say you're not junk and you're not sick and you're not mad. And after that, now you start to question me and say, hold on. How you tell me say this is a superstition? How you tell me say this is not real? Eh? And I start questioning things and say, hold on. If that not real, this can't real too. Because everything balance. Yeah. And this is what Babylon tell we. You know what happened? Forget about that. Ignore that. That's not real. That is superstitious. That is foolishness. That is antiquity. But this is good. Hold to this. And I hold it for years. And after I hold it for deep searching and thing and thing, now I realize. I will have something else to talk about, but we're not confused the reasoning. We're talking about right now. What we are talking about and what we start with. Big and serious. Mr. Peters, help me out.
a woman power. I'm a know yellow when the girls them when panic and speak panic and speak panic, not in panic. Indeed, it is woman power. And ladies, I'm telling you, when you hear an artist or an entertainer or anybody come and disrespect one woman, you might disrespect all women, including one mother and him sister and him grandmother. And uh, of a black road on them. Yeah, man. We can enjoy good music. We can enjoy nice, clean music without people trying to tell you what him do last night, this morning, or yesterday, or what he want to do with you. You know what I want to do with you already. You don't need to tell you that. And some of them, when they want to, they can't even do it. And they are, they are impotent. They are dead. Seriously. That's why we say loose tongue, this try hard work. Some people, let me see now. If one of them are so with me, I'm not going to You know, me haven't seen no response for the longest while. So let me see what's going on. Put up the glory. Ziana, let me see what I'm going to say. And dearly, you're still there. Jenny, me know so you're gone long time. You know that. Yeah, man. Me know you're gone. We know you're gone. We see that. Yeah, so. I could see if we're not still there now. Natasha. Miss Graham. Bless up. I could see, the, see what's going on right here, people. Because, honestly speaking, I want to have a person your name. Boot. Wow. Jackie Boot. Mm. I hope a jacket about. Anyway. So long. I want to tell you, we're going to play some more song and then we're going to run off. I don't know, say 4 o'clock, me have to go start out some things. And, you know, things have to be done. Big and serious. So, what do you say, people? What do you say? Give me some glory, you know. Let me see what you're not still about now. Show guy, where are you? I haven't, hold on. I haven't seen show guy today. She was seeing some big meeting or something. Show guy, probably not meeting, man. Busy. Yeah, because show guy, when I sharp, he's listening now. And I'm a liar listening to that in a show guy. Yes. And when you see BSP, come on, man. Raquel, show guy, and daily, and they even see him, Jenny there, and evangelist, yeah, you know me loyal, the other people them then go and come, Sharon too, quite a few of them, yeah man, quite a few of them, and we love them all, you know, feel no way, we have a place for y'all, you know, and we just want to keep it real, as we say, we need to burn fire upon the man, them who abuse the woman, and we need to burn fire upon the people, them who are the right thing, when burn people are beat the girl with a hammer, him deserve a little fire, I don't mean, lie, in this world, fire, yes. He can't just push on the carpet so and make it look like, say, him innocent. Because you know, innocent, you can't beat a man with a hammer and feel you're innocent and you feel us, oh, it was a mistake and you don't know. We don't work with that. So we have to burn some fire. Yes, my people, we have to burn some fire. Burn the people, them. And we just show you the entertainer, them, how them do them thing and how them in a trouble right now with them one word. Them one mouth put them in a trouble. We do that already and we make them know we are going. Because in truth and all honesty, a lot of people don't understand certain things. And most of us, we just get up and say, oh, me a big man. And me buy my own things. And me have my little pocket money in my pocket to buy whatever I want. And me go on the road. So you think you're big. But that don't make you big yet. Ziana, bless up. That don't make you big yet. What make you big is when you understand how to live a peaceful life. How to resolve problem. How to sort out things around you and how to move to the next level. If you're done with these things, you don't know nothing, my friend. What are you talking about? You know, say women are moody people. Me say women are moody people. Bless up. Thank you very much, Diana. Women are moody people. And remember, I tell you already, I'm going to tell you again. Your script, women's script, always written different from a man. Especially if the woman born in this country and have the mindset of this country. And then you born in Jamaica and the mindset of Jamaica. And you want her to be your wife. You know why you, you know how much compromising you have to do. You know how much understanding you have to exercise to make the unity run. You know how much things you have to do to fit things in place. And some people, oh, you know what? Me had the daddy now, me had the man, you know, my father never tell me, say. And my mother never tell me, say, so I don't know how this girl that deal with me, so. You box it on. No, man. You must learn to attack. The problem and not the person. Most of us attack the person and the problem still there. So we end up walking with baggages through life. We're going on a new relationship with that dirty baggage and we do the same thing different day. We find we never learn. And that is what we know what is going through with most people. Because we sit on a reason with some youth and say, yo, you know, so we never know that this and that, the tanso. How you mean, she tan? I mean, tanso. 
and it starts. You must have them hold down your head and say, Can I get a cigarette? Can I light a cigarette in your place? And I say, No, you don't light no cigarette in your no cards. No smoking zone. And him say, All right. Me want to hear what you say. I sit down with him and say, Yo, the girl changed for me. And I say, How she changed? She not really changed. It's you who don't understand her. So you think she changed. Because you jolly when two people meet, trust me, they're excited. But after the excitement, now what's gonna happen? After you get complacent and you get to know the person, you have to still find that spark to keep things going. And if you decide for such a change and decide to withdraw yourself, because most time when people say people change, that them are the one who change. Trust me. Yeah, man. So when people meet new, it's all exciting and everything fiery and look good. But after six, seven, eight, nine years, still holding on. And you'll find everybody get used to one another now and people not shame and shy again and everything disappear. And you have to know how to deal with that, my virgin. And if you don't know how to deal with that, now you're going to cry yourself now in a bad situation. And you're going to walk around and pointing fingers. And you're going to run from her because you think that she's not good. And you're going to run to Mary. And Mary going to come wicked. And I deeper you get and you start to wonder what go on and you start to think something wrong with you and somebody do things with you. Well, yes, we know somebody can do things. Uh, we, we see it happen over and over. So we're not talking about that, you know. We are talking about when the love is new, it stick like glue. When the love is old, it cheat like cold. So you have to know how to keep the love warm at all time. And if you know my bridge, you can't maintain giving her roses every time you see her don't start it. If you know my bridge, you can't maintain take her to the shop every time. Don't start it because she got said then boy, you used to do this and you don't do it anymore. If you know every Friday night you know you go out for a walk and you can't man it, maintain it, don't start it because them things they can mash up the relationship. I tell you that my bridge, enough people don't know them basic things there. If you know so you meet her in the pub, don't try to stop her from going to the pub at this you meet her. Let me see. Bring it back. The man said, no one fighting in the dance, no romance in the dance. I know what he's saying, because these dances nowadays, when you go to them dances, they, you don't go there anyway, but we see it. Man, I can't bed God dance. Man, I can't donkey God dance. Man, I can't fall God dance. Me never see this yet. Man, I can't all three God dance, we jump out of the tree and all them something. Me don't, me don't know what I'm doing, but we're gone. We lose it. I tell you. So the brother said, bring it back. Bring back the good old days, no romance in the dance, we just want good, good music. We just want to keep things real, Ziana. Jackie Boot, bless up yourself, darling. Yes, man, bless up, thank you very much. So, you know what, people, I tell you now, we have to learn to accept ourselves and our position. So, if you know that, as I say, you cannot afford to maintain the woman at the way where you start off, don't start it. And the better you just start simple and move simple and later on, no one then you just say, yo baby, you know what? Me have a little thing, you know, well, this now and go on. She can't expect nothing from you. But when you're going to try to impress a buyer and I tell her you give her everything and you go all get all extra money and you take it dump on her one Friday. Next Friday she'll look for the same thing because you broke her bad. And that's why enough of them Nigerian brother yeah, you can't tell about them. They can't keep a woman, they can't get a woman because they decide to spoil woman when they have money. And when they have no money now, the woman gone. That's why Nigerian girl, them again, them wanted a sample, you know. We talk about them next time. So people, be gone see what we are saying. You have to just be true to yourself. And make sure you have it before you can give it. If you don't have it, you can't give it. You're going to be in trouble. Simple like that. I'm telling you. You don't have it, you can't give it. 
But a lot of us, we try to go on like say, we up, up, up. And we don't know where. And when you do that, you're in a trouble. Because the first thing you want to say, you're a liar. She might be a liar, do you know? But she going to say, you're a liar. And you, you give her reason to call you liar. And you have to live with that. Because you never think. What the purpose you tell a woman a bunch of foolishness when you know it's far from reality. And later on she gets to know you, she finds it all the way out tell her it never makes sense. She cannot use it and say, listen, block and delete. You're done. You're lost. Yeah. So big and serious, my people. We gotta bring it back again and again and again. Yeah, Richie, Richie Innocent, I have to big up Richie Innocent, you know, my brethren. Richie Innocent, dub poet, good artist, I tell you, and daily. Yes, man, I see what I go on, I see what I go on with Richie Innocent, yeah, good youth. I respect how they look at youth that shine through when I come through. I rate that, I rate that, yes, Richie, I go up there, bless him up. And daily, bless him up for me, yeah, keep it real. So right now I'm gonna play a young artist. The artist reach out to me and any artist at all reach out to me, we always play them song. Sugar you come back. We always play them song because we believe that we don't supposed to stifle nobody. We believe that we should listen to everybody. The me and the crippled, the disabled, everybody. We believe that we should listen to them. Cause we can't go on like we are shun people and shunning people are good. A young artist reach out to me and I decide to take them on. Singer Jalayan is the name and the title is Better Tomorrow. Bless up. Long show, Miss Udon, man, Miss Udon. Singer Jalayan, yes, big and serious. Yeah, we're gonna turn it up, man, because I was talking on the mic. Yeah, singer Jalayan said, New Day. This is a young artist, very young, and this artist aspiring to be like Bounty Killer, Beanie Man, or any one of the big artists. Say, New Day. So let us continue with it now. Yes, 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 that's the artist, the artist. And as I say, when artists reach out to you, you have to really deal with them. Because we don't shun people. Here come Queen of Sheba, another young artist again. Come to BSB and say, BSB, I want you to lift up them songs yeah, and make your listeners hear them. Big and serious. 24-7, yes, sure, guy, give them the information.
Yeah, tag Queen Sheba unless you know that. Tag her, tag her unless you know that. We are playing her song now. She tell me that oh, whenever time we're playing her song, I should call her. Anyway, tag Sheba. Whoever knows Sheba, tag her right now until I saw her song is playing on BSB radio station from London to the world. I don't know your people, seriously. When people reach out to you or when you meet people, no matter what situation you might think them in, a, never you learn to judge people. Because when you start to judge them, you start to miss your own mark. Big and serious. Yeah, Sheba, you know me want a jingle from that song, Wake Up From A Slumber. I need you to know that Sheba, I need a jingle for that song, Wake Up From The Slumber. Because our people are sleeping for real. And you are here to wake them up. Susie, Susie, Susie Walker, bless up, bless up Susie Walker. Yes, Sheba and the turn came BSB to the world. This is a brand new day, of course, right? Listen, right now, we're gonna play the Angel Strength, man. Got a man, Angel. Give him a whole past strength, and I would like some angel to come give me some strength too. Man, call himself Slingers. Good afternoon, Sharon. How are you? Yes, Sharon. Bless up. Bless up. Yes. Bless up. Keep it real. Susie Walker. Keep it real. Same way. Kathy Wallace. Yeah, you come back. Somebody said it's show too long. You know, every time we come here to me, I do 20 minutes or 25 minutes. Never happen. I don't know why. Because the vibes just let us get carried away, like Beyonce said, that thing just take over. Well, trust me, we have to work with it, big and serious. And when we're having fun, we don't watch time, seriously. Yes, Sharon, big up yourself. Angels, angels, chant. Slingers used to get them money. Yeah. You know, for some reason, I yeah, we just, we just get attached to us. I mean, love it, I mean, love it, I mean, love it, I mean, not tell no lie. But right now, he's asking for protection. Slingers again on the turntable. Remember, you know, artists, young artists. If you send 5 million songs, come give me, me play them. If you send 30 million, me play them. If you send one, come give me, me play them. I just say it go. I feel no way. Once you have it and you send it, we'll play it. From in and disrespect woman, in and violate certain things. No swearing on it and all them things there. Come in and promote no young artists who are coming foolishness. Protection time. Steps. Guide my steps. This is a 
blessings no fam. Now make them sick with my blessings no man. Jimmy can no win a stressing for long. We go up in the sunshine, we switch it me on. Man on a sleep, me night and no grave. That's why me young to feel the breeze from the waves. Music to me is I'm smiling with tears. You are judge and make me see better days. You are judge. Protect me, protect me, protect me, protect me. You are Jaja, Jaja. Protect me, protect me, protect me, protect me. Them never want to hear about sex. But they inna the street and me and God a step. And when them dig, they when they plan a bit. Big house man, they make your big mama fresh. Them man grateful for everything. But man grateful for everything. And if I think we would have never seen. But tell them anything or anything. Yo, a judge. Judge. Protect me, protect me. The man say, Jaja, ja, protect me, protect me. The real truth. Slingers, big up yourself, my brethren. Yes, yes. Right now, we have another young artist. His name is Wani. Yes. And Wani is saying, don't. Listen to Wani now. to leave now but we're gonna play this artist the great mr pilot and then we're gonna run off until the next day we're gonna see us evening breeze but before we play pilot we're gonna play this oh, yes right you know it's baba chukube and bsb radio london huh think about it huh you know it's baba chukube and the pilot and get this clear when we're not on the ground we're on the air think about it chukube Tell you them, sir. Every youth we have a dream. And every man we have a vision. Call it self-esteem. Or call it ambition. Huh. You know it's true could be alongside the pilot. Huh. Think about it. Yeah, you know? What is it, baby? I think you got what I like. Really? I'm your pilot. So just sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay. Take 
Mr. Love, me love all the artists use the pond them in him song. Trust me, me like when fling down some pond in it. You want to come sit down in the cockpit. Nobody can answer that slackness in the cockpit. It's a place in the plane called the cockpit where the pilot located. You know, yes, so so rough. You understand the pond, yeah, man. But anyway, loving people, we're glad for you. We love you. We love you. But God, guess what? I gotta go. And it was nice, wonderfully nice. I, I enjoy every bit of this show. And every show that i done here, I love it. I enjoy it so much. And once again, I must say so long. God's willing, we will do it again and again and again. So right now, my saying to you, my peace, I live with you. Walk good. And remember, God bless you. Keep safe now. And be good. Here, see you now. Bless up.